<laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to Cairn Creek. I'm Jeremy here in Southern Ohio. Spectacular news to present to you right now. I'm on vacation. Right now it is Tuesday, April the 6th, 2021. Finished up a project yesterday, now I've got the week for vacation. Now, vacation for self-employed looks a lot different than a nine to five job. So my vacation will consist of, now especially if I'm staying in the Ross County in our, our hometown area, it's about impossible to take a complete vacation. My vacation will consist of pretty much being able to run around, look at jobs, catch up on book work, stuff like that. But I should be done each day by noon. I'm still excited because that means I can get out to Cairn Creek, the place you came to see today, and get some projects done. And I have a boatload of projects. Let me tell you, a boatload. I need to fix that hole in the driveway. Oh my goodness. So Tuesday morning, about 9.30, I had to look at two jobs this morning. Now I'm going to retrieve the skid loader from a project, and I've got to look at one more job today. So I should be back to Cairn Creek by noon. Dropped the mower off out there this morning, had to finish up some mowing. That's a tricky thing that we, we deal with, is not actually living at Cairn Creek, living down the road, is I have to transfer that mower back and forth. So I, before I brought it up over here this morning, I went ahead and uh, done some touch-up mowing there around the house, and then I'll take it back towards the end of the week to mow again at the house. But the grass is on fire. I mean, it's a green fire. It's coming up out of the ground like crazy. So guys, stick with me here. Let's jump right into some action. Let's get this equipment brought back, get the morning wrapped up so I can get back to Cairn Creek, and we can start getting some content. Oh, we're here to pick up the skidler. I want to show you guys what's going on. I feel like Mike Morgan on this project. Basically, we're doing, this is a buddy's place, but we done the underground plumbing yesterday for his bathroom sink, blah, blah, blah. Still got to put in these floor drains. And we also got the hydrants in. We got water, had to run two hydrants from the house. You know what really excites a grown man like myself, say 43 years old, it's equipment. When you get new equipment or get used equipment that's handy, that's gonna make your life easier, that's where I'm at right now, I'm so excited. I gotta show you what I just got and I'm so excited. Keep turning. Check out this Toro real mower, it's a greens mower. This is a 2007 unit, it's used, but this is what we're gonna to use to mow the golf green. Way down there, it's ready to be mowed. So in my travels this afternoon, still Tuesday, I picked up this green mower. I know you can sense my excitement, because I am excited. I'm very excited. However, we do have a couple issues with this green mower. The guy I got it from, he said it's having trouble running. So we're gonna get in the shop, get this thing all cleaned up, because it's dirty. Looks like it's got about 1,400 hours on it. We're gonna get this bad boy in the mill shop, get it all cleaned up, make it look real new, then we're going to tear it apart, see what we can do about that carburetor, see if we can get this thing going. After we get it going, there's some more work to do on this thing as far as adjustment on height and whatnot. Because that green is brand new, it's not been mowed yet. So we can't just go in and start gouging down real low. we got to kind of wean it down. It's like weaning the baby off the tit. You know, you got to take your time. In a timely fashion, we're going to start mowing it higher and then decrease the height till we get it so we can put on it. I'm so excited. Can you sense my excitement? Can you feel my excitement? Are you with me on this excitement? Cairn Creek. Excitement. you guys could possibly be witnessing on YouTube a midlife crisis. 
So the golf green, it's something I've wanted to do my whole life. I was big into golf in high school, loved to play golf, worked at a golf course when I was 16, uh, up until probably 17 years old. I used to mow greens. Never really worked on the mowers, just loved mowing greens. I was out there just pretty much working to pay my way to play golf at the golf course. A big part of my life, so maybe it's all coming back now, you know, the the lust of the, the, the 17 year old, 18 year old boy out playing golf, loving it. And now I'm reliving it to have a golf hole in my own backyard. I thought kind of that maybe was like a midlife crisis. That was not a midlife crisis. That was out of necessity. I should have bought that wood miser years ago. I say that as often as I can, just in case anybody's watching and wondering. Do it! Just get in the game. All right, so back to this greens mower. Actually, not back to the greens mower. I want to give you guys an update on what we're going to do this week at Cairn Creek. Here is a perfect example. I love keeping a clean mill shop. I love it. I love for the floor to be spotless at all times. One of the ways, one of the easy ways to do that is by using water. So I'm always washing the floor off. I'm always washing this little apron off. And this is what we turn out with. All this water tracks down to this, gets us, the gravel gets all muddy. So anytime we go in and out by foot traffic or vehicle traffic, it just tracks more mud in. So I want to put a catch basin in and then pour probably about a 10 foot extension on this with a catch basin in the center. So when we wash this concrete, it goes to the catch basin. We get big rains off the hill, comes to the catch basin. It'll really clean this area up. It's been on my hit list since conception of this mill shop. But that's not all there is to it. I got too much stuff in the way to really show you, but let's look down here. This catch basin will be right here. We are gonna run it down to that creek. We have six inch PVC pipe that's gonna come from this catch basin down the creek. Tons of fall. So I will have no hesitation at all to wash down mud, sawdust, bark. It's all gonna self-clean using PVC pipe with the water we have, it's gonna self-clean. That's the easy part, kinda. I mean, that's a lot of work right there. That's something I wanna do this week. That's something I wanna get videos on this week. However, while we're busting that trench down through the driveway, making a mess, there's another plan. See this stake? This stake's important. I have a conduit stopped right over here that goes to our transformer. That conduit goes up and around those campers to a transformer. We've got to finish that conduit over to this point, the stake stub, 90 the conduit up, 90 another conduit down, and we'll share the trench once we get to the catch basin off the apron of the garage. I'll get down to the bottom next and show you what's going on down there. Two more stakes. This stake here is going to be another transformer pad. So let's look up that way. I don't remember exact footage. Catch basin drain is going to come down. Gravity flow to that creek. Three inch electric conduit. Clear up from up top. Clear to the stake. And then beside it with this other stake. We are going to have, I thought it was a 400 amp panel, mounted on a, on a board type system. The meter will be here and then we'll have some temporary plugs. Basically, we've got some buildings going in eventually. All in all this week, and it's not going to be in one video, there's going to be thousands of feet of trench to dig. I figure now's a good time to go ahead and just destroy this place, try to get things put back together before it's really... Uh, growing season i mean it's kind of getting the growing season with the grass and stuff but let's go and get these trenches dug get everything healed back in as quick as possible and get some power down here come here you sexy beast Ow. now obviously we're not going to get started on all these projects in this video this video is going to wrap up with me starting that greens mower that's what it's going to wrap up with but i want to give everybody an insight of what's going on this week here at cairn creek busy week we're at tuesday evening now and if you've watched this channel long enough, you know that I'm super aggressive on projects. And I usually don't get them all done because I, I shoot for the stars. Hope I fall on the hill. I don't know. All right, so let's get back down on a greens mower because I, this video is going about as long as I want it to. But I would like to see that greens mower fire up to conclude this video. And I'm not a mechanic. That's the joy of this whole project. I'm not a mechanic. But I'll give her a try. I'd say the air filter shot. No big deal there. We should be able to get the fire with, without that being pristine. 
Trying to get to the carburetor. Carburetor in hand. The, the gas smells old and nasty. It really don't even smell like gas. I did see where you get a brand new carburetor for about 50 bucks. But it's two weeks out. Ain't nobody got time for that. Normally I'd buy it. If I could have bought one a day and just changed it, I probably would have done that. But I don't have two weeks. Now right, we're gonna take that main jet out and see what that looks like. All right, I got this thing put back together the best I can. Cleaned it out as good as I could. If this doesn't work, I'm gonna have to go to my A-team, which I reached out to them first, but Mike is busy planting and Buck's got a mower shop, so he's super slammed. So hopefully this works. And for you guys that don't know, what's different from this mower than a normal mower that you use in your, your lawn at home? This mower actually has a reel. Let's sneak down and see that. Okay, so when this turns, it cuts the grass like a pair of scissors. It actually pinches it and snaps it clean. Way healthier for grass when it happens. Your typical mowers, your push mowers and uh, zero turns, they spin in, a, in a, a fast pattern and actually just beat the grass. So if you look at the grass after you cut with the microscope with your zero turn or your push mower, it's all frayed and shredded. This actually makes a nice clean cut, which is less repair for that grass to do to start growing again, which makes it healthier. All right, drum roll, DJ. <laughs> Looks like Karen Creek's got a new mechanic on payroll. That's me. So from the growing golf green, still a work in progress, but it's coming in. We're going to start mowing, keep fertilizing, fungicides, get this baby rocking and rolling. But I feel good. I feel like the midlife crisis has been diverted into a wonderful thing of art. A golf green in your backyard. We've got that tour running. Guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for working with us. Cairn Creek, over and out.